In 1996, I started law school at a big state school in the southern U.S. Other than studying, I spent most of my time playing MUDs over the internet until my school's IT dude cut me off, saying I was wasting resources. That was fine with me. For like $20 a month, I could buy unlimited dial-up from some independent ISP and MUD all I wanted. Things were fine until I started getting a lot of dropped connections. I lived in an apartment complex off campus. It was probably 50-50 grad students and local rednecks. I called South Central Bell and they sent a guy to check out my line. He fixed the problem. My phone line had been tapped. Someone in this town where I had never lived and knew no one had tapped into my phone to listen to my conversations. Whenever they tried while I was on the internet, it caused enough interference to drop the connection. It bugged the crap out of me, but what could I really do about it? I just put it behind me. Then I left town for the summer and had my mail held at the post office until I came back for year two. I got back in August, picked up my mail, and had them resume normal mail service to my address. Two months later, I stopped receiving mail completely. It didn't register with me until they cut off my electricity for failure to pay a bill I never received. The lady at the post office said someone had forwarded my mail, but wouldn't tell me who or to where. It still puzzles me what was going on there. One night, during a blizzard two winters ago, there was a crazy amount of snow and wind. The power had been out for a few hours, and it was nearly midnight. I kept getting phone calls without a listed number, and every call was the same. Occasional words amongst some sort of distortion that I've never heard before or since. What tiny bit I could understand sounded like the person had something important to say. No friends or family I've ever asked about it said they were calling that night, and certainly not over and over around midnight. This was just over three years ago that it started. I remember the time because I had gotten out of the military about a month before the first call. When it started, I assumed it was just some jerk screwing with me. It didn't happen every day or on any kind of regular basis. Sometimes I would get two calls an hour apart, and sometimes I would only get one in a couple of weeks. They would always come from different numbers that I couldn't get any results for from searching online. And when I called back, it would always just ring. I let it ring for about five minutes once and got nothing. They were always the same. I would answer, and a man with no accent that I could identify would say, What are you doing now? The first couple of times I got the calls, I was kind of just having fun with what I thought was a wrong number by telling him exactly what I was doing like cooking dinner or having a cigarette. Every time I said what I was doing, he would respond with, mm-hmm, like you do when someone is telling a story and you want them to keep going. After a few calls, I stopped messing around and started demanding to know who it was and getting mad. It was the same thing. He would just keep repeating, what are you doing now? Then I started hanging up as soon as I heard the guy. The calls kept coming. I moved back to Nebraska and changed my number to a local number with a new carrier. I didn't even have the phone for a full day before I got the call again. It continued on my new phone. 
I even called my cell provider to ask who it was, and they said they weren't showing records of the calls. I went to the cell store to show them the numbers on my phone to prove I wasn't lying, and the only response I got was, that's weird, I wonder why it isn't showing up. They didn't care. I haven't had one of those calls for almost a year now. I almost went crazy over it. I did tech support for a global fast food franchise. We supported customers in the US only. I worked on the midnight shift as second level and would only receive calls if no one else was taking them. Like if someone is on break or lunch and the other people are on calls. One particular night, a combination of everyone called in sick or had the day off. It was all very last minute, and they couldn't get anyone to cover for them, so I was there all alone. It was pretty dead most of the night, but around 1am, I kept getting ghost calls. Someone would call and I'd answer, and it would immediately disconnect. This happened like ten times in a row. It finally stopped and I got a normal call. I was in the middle of helping the guy figure out his pricing, when another call popped into the queue, then went away after a few seconds. Not so weird yet, right? Well, part of my job as second level was to do call monitoring. I would listen in on recorded calls and score the agent on how well they did. All calls were recorded, and I simply went through the logs looking for relatively low talk times so I wouldn't be there doing it all night. So I'm going through the logs the next day, and I noticed from last night that nine of those ghost calls are there, all of which only last a few seconds. The tenth one, though was nearly 20 minutes, which I knew was impossible. I decided to listen anyway. It had me with my greeting, saying hello a few times, and then silence, which I guess is where I hung up. It remained silent for a good six minutes, until I heard a woman faintly sobbing and asking if anyone was there. The sobbing continued for a few moments until I heard a man yelling in the background, and her yelling no, and then muffled sounds of rumbling around of some sort. Then it was silent, until there was a click. So, I mentioned the normal call I got because, for some reason, I decided to listen to it, too. It was normal for a while until it got to the part where I think that call came in. On the recorded side, it made a clicking sound like the call had ended. It was silent for a few seconds, and then this soft chanting began. It was saying, On Mani Padmi Hum, which is a Buddhist mantra which I knew immediately. It was a very soft, low hum with a deep voice. That lasted for a few minutes, maybe two, until it clicked again and went back to the normal call. I can't explain it to this day. This happened to my sister. She was working in a hotel, and at about 4 a.m., she got an internal call from an unoccupied room. My mom, also employed there, has ranted before about the room being haunted. My sister answered the phone, confused. She heard static and some sobbing, followed by a click. She went to the room to check it out, and found nobody there, all the lights on, and the bed on made. My mom's gotten those calls, too. She claims someone committed suicide in that room. 
the story still creeps me out since I've slept in that room before, and the lights refused to stay off once I fell asleep. So, last week, I'm sitting in my room doing nothing when the phone rings. It's a weird number, 11 digits long. I just figure, screw it, I can't even remember the last time someone called me. I'm curious. Some weird music starts playing, but I can barely hear anything because the sound quality is horrible. I figure it's probably a prank, so after a while I hang up and go back to doing nothing. Yesterday, I was doing nothing again when the phone rings. It's a weird number, but not the same one as before. This one is ten digits long. I pick up my phone, and the same music with horrible quality starts playing again. After a few seconds, the song stops and is replaced by some weird sound. I can't describe exactly what it was, but it sounded like someone talking super fast. I decide I'm not hanging up this time because I want to know what this is. But after a while, they hung up. This isn't paranormal or anything, but when I was nine, I answered the phone, and a guy with a very deep voice said, Hello? And nothing at all else, and wouldn't respond to, Who is this? It happened like twice more, always when my mom was washing dishes and I had to be the one to answer. Then I had some dream that my teacher was telling my class that if anyone gets a phone call like that, they would die. Also, I remember someone on X saying they were locking their back door for the night, and as they did, they instantly got a text message saying, Open up for Silly Billy. That one story creeped me out for a while. I'm the night administrator for an old hotel. At this time, it was only me and the whole hotel, since it was closed for repairs. The whole place was dark and looked like a construction site. My place is just by the general manager's office, which was super spooky and always left open. So I'm sitting around all night as usual reading Dune when the phone on my desk rings. I'm about to answer it when I realize the call is coming from the general manager's office. I was the only one in the hotel, and the general manager's office was right behind me. One time, I was staying the night with a friend, and I left my phone downstairs on her couch. She lived alone in a townhouse at the time, but I kept hearing people moving around downstairs. She evidently didn't, and slept right through it. So I finally wandered downstairs after a few hours of this, and found that a text message had been sent from my phone to a number with a 317 area code. I don't live anywhere near Indianapolis. It just said, Now we're ready. Send him. I noped back upstairs and took my phone with me as if that would make a difference. I never told her about it, and she moved out a few months later without incident. I still wonder what that was all about.
I live in an old house with lead paint and asbestos everywhere. As a result, my phone signal is weak. While talking on the phone, I always hear an odd, consistent beeping. Wires apparently get crossed and I hear weird random things, like music or other people talking. I've had two long-distance girlfriends I talk to for hours on end each night. The first was named Kaylee when we were about 14 or 15. We talked nightly for three to four hours for nearly six months. We never heard anything odd, but every so often, the call would mess up and my phone would just start playing music until I hung up. She said that from her perspective, it just goes silent. I assumed I was just picking up radio signals or something. Whatever. We eventually broke up, and I stopped talking on the phone as often. Fast forward to about a year ago. I fell for a girl named Anna and started talking on the phone again, although much less than before. Maybe one or two hours a night, two to three times a week. She had childhood trauma and was abused by her mom and had just finished opening up to me about what happened when the phone just goes dead silent and stays that way for nearly a minute. I keep asking if she's there with no response. I don't think anything of it. She could have just gone away from the phone as she was flighty. And then I start hearing a voice on the line. It's weird and garbled as if the person is talking a few feet away from the phone. I think, oh good, she's back. She just got caught up talking to her mom or something. There's another voice as well, but it's even farther from the phone, so it's all digitalized garbage that I can't understand. The voices start escalating, and after a few seconds, it devolves into a loud argument. It gets louder and louder, it's clearly one-sided, with one person being yelled at. And then the screaming starts. It's absolute blood-curdling horror. She was just telling me her mom beat her, and now this? I stay on the line hoping that Bully Mom will leave her alone and she'll pick up the phone. I can't make out any words except for the occasional stop or get out or no. Other than that, it's just loud digital screaming. So I stay on the line for 14 minutes and sit the phone on the ground as it's loud enough for me to hear from across the room. My hands are shaking, my heart's pounding, and the screaming makes way to crying. The voice never gets closer to the phone and stays digitalized. When it hangs up, I freak out. I call her twice, and she doesn't pick up. I call her a third time, and it finally goes through. Yo, what's crack lacking? I freak out and explain what happened. She just says, Oh? It just started playing music on my end of the line, and I listened until my phone died. Sorry for not picking up. My phone hadn't turned back on yet. Neither of us ever got an explanation, and after a week or so, we stopped talking about it altogether. I work overnight for a haunted pet boarding facility inside a pet store. All the phones in the store have the same ringer. The hotel, the registers up front, and the in-store vet. I'm the only person in the store at night, and half the lights shut off after hours. At 2 a.m., I'm taking lunch in the lobby when the phone rings at the front, the ringer echoing throughout the store. And I think about how weird it is to have the phone go off at 2. And then I remember. When the store closes, the phone doesn't take calls, 
and instead plays an automated message. Then I realize, that's not the ringer our phones have. That's when I get kind of spooked. It rings for a minute or two, then stops. There's silence for a couple of seconds, and then two thunderous bangs ring through the store, like someone slamming a metal trash can against the wall. I just sit there and finish my lunch and go back to work. I've had weird experiences working overnight, but that was the only thing I legitimately couldn't explain. When I was 11 or 12, I was at home during the daytime, sitting on the couch playing PS2, when suddenly the phone rings. I always feared picking up the phone when nobody was around. I pick up the phone and go, Hello? Then, an overlapping voice in many tones and accents spoke. Hello, yes, Michael, this is Michael. No, I'm Michael, here's Michael, where's Michael? Mikhail, 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 this is Michael, that is Michael. It almost sounded like a German and Italian accent. Before I could even think, the call hung up. My name's not even Michael. Several times at my job, I've gotten the same odd phone call. I'd pick up the line, and there'd be no one there. After several hellos on my part, there'd be a tone, and then a recording would start. The voice sounded like the usual female phone recording voice, but this is what it would say every time. You're going to die. Then the line would disconnect itself. My coworkers thought I was just screwing with them, until one of them picked up once and got the same recording. It was very unsettling each time. I figure it's just some kids doing a prank, but... still. I called to check on the phone at a remote school. The building is old, like 110 years. I check the phone, and there's no dial tone. I go through all the checks and eventually go to the classroom to pick it up. As I'm picking it up off the desk, I hear a voice coming through it. I think to myself, great, it's working now. I start to hang it up and I realize it's not plugged back in yet. I set the phone down and stare at it a minute. I pick up the handset and it's silent. I plug it in, and the dial tone now works. I really dislike that school. It always feels like you're being watched. I came in one day and the teacher and assistant were creeped out. I asked what was going on since they were obviously freaked out. Apparently, they were sitting close to the teacher's desk at a small table when the trash can with the flip-style lid banged and the lid spun around like someone threw something heavy into it from a few feet away. Stuff like that is always happening according to the people that work there. One woman even had her name whispered to her. She won't go back. My parents were always super religious. On Sunday nights, the entire family, ten of us all together, would pray the rosary together. One night in particular, the phone rang. As per usual, we were all directed not to answer and to keep concentrating. When the phone goes to the messaging system, all we hear is deep breathing. Finally, a low voice says the word, Stop. 
my parents keep praying, so us kids just follow along. Eventually, whoever it was hangs up and doesn't call back. I'm pretty sure my parents were convinced it was Satan calling us to stop our prayers, but who knows? <laughs>